Hi guys, today I have a tutorial for you on how to do very simple male makeup. So if you want to achieve this look, keep on watching. So step one is to clean your skin. And I will recommend the Neutrogena Visibly Clear 2-in-1 Wash and Mask. And what that is going to do is it's going to unclog your pores and purify your skin deep down so you'll have visibly better skin. And from experience this works very well. You just take a pea-sized amount, distribute it all over your face. You can even leave it for like three minutes to purify even deeper. And then you can just wash all the residue off. And that is really going to clean your skin. So now we have stripped away all of the impurities in your skin, but we have also stripped away all of the natural oils that is in your skin, which is why we need to moisturize at this point. If you have very acne prone skin, I will recommend the Zero Oil from Origins. Uh, that's a very good moisturizer for oily or acne prone skin. If you have dull skin, a little bit grayish tint and you need that freshness, I'll recommend the Ginseng Cream, also from Origins. Uh, these two are very light, both of them, so don't be scared, they're gonna just moisturize your skin very, very lightly. If you have a little bit drier skin and you need more moisture, I will recommend the Make a Difference Plus, that's the one I use. Um, but all three of them are really well. So you just take a pea-sized amount and distribute it all over your face and let it dry in for a few minutes. So now that your skin is purified and moisturized, it's time for the fun part, the makeup. If you have oily skin or acne prone skin, I will recommend the Body Shop Tea Tree BB Cream for you since this is also going to mitigate that acne because tea tree oil, as we all know, have antiseptic properties which is going to help heal that acne and clear it up. If you just have oily skin with no acne, I'll recommend the Garnier BB Cream. This one is a winner for me. I've been using this one for years. It's easy to apply and it's very very good for your skin and it has SPF which is also going to protect your skin during the day. If you uh, don't feel like going with a BB cream I have also some foundation, light foundation recommendations for you. These are a little bit heavier in coverage but nothing that you're not going to be able to get away with. I'll recommend then the L'Oreal Eau de Tint Nude Machique foundation which is also a very very light foundation. I did do, did do a review on this one previously. And if you have a little bit more money to splurge and want just a little bit more of a luxury product, if you're only going to be purchasing one, this might be possible for you. I'll recommend the Marc Jacobs Foundation, which is going to also be very, very light. So now I'll just be demonstrating for you on how to apply this. It is actually very, very easy and you can do it with your fingers in less than a minute. I promise you this is not going to be difficult for you. You just screw off the tip, I'm just going to use the Garnier one since that one is one of my favorites. You just press a little bit onto your hand and then you take the product and distribute it all over your face like I just you would your moisturizer. And you just start in the center of your face and then work outwards. Make sure to really blend it well. That's the only thing I can tell you that's the most important part if you don't want it to look too obvious. Really blend it well into your skin. And now that you have the moisturizer on, it's gonna glide on perfectly and it's gonna be very very beautiful and light on your skin. And also you can build it up as much as you want. That's really something I really want to emphasize on because if you want that natural coverage, go with one layer, that's fine. That's going to even out your skin tone, it's going to combat a little bit of that redness and it's going to make your imperfections a little bit less visible but you're still going to be able to see your skin through. If you want a little bit more coverage, you can go ahead and apply another layer in the same way. That's totally up to you how much you want and just experiment with it and have fun. Oh, and one final remark. Always get the sales personnel at the store where you're purchasing your BB creams, your concealers to match you. I cannot stress this point strongly enough. It looks terrible with a non-matched foundation or a BB cream or a concealer. So always remember to get them to match you. So for demonstration purposes, I've just applied one more layer of that Garnier BB cream. And as you can see, that is not looking very unnatural. There's still a slight 
sheen to my skin which is making it look very skin like still and you can see my skin through and again this was totally optional if you don't want to apply another layer then don't do what you feel comfortable with but the fourth step that is also optional you can conceal if you want um, I have some solid recommendations for you the Maybelline fit me is very 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 great for sort of a light coverage that's still gonna cover up some of those imperfections on your skin if you don't feel like having them and if you need something with a little bit more coverage I would go with the Maybelline Superstay Bitter Skin Concealer um, but let's demonstrate that one as well so I have some imperfections here I'm just gonna take out the wand this comes with a wand that's very easy just apply a little bit directly on that pimple and then tap it in tap it in and that's gonna blend it in perfectly you can do that everywhere on your skin where you do feel you need a little bit of uh, concealing and also you can go under your eyes I would just place a little streak here and a little streak here and then you're going to be blending it in remember always to blend down with your fingers and actually you have to go with your ring fingers because that's the least amount of pressure you get there um, so you just want to drag it a little bit down and really blend it out well with that ring finger and using your ring finger that is gonna make sure that you don't tuck at the delicate skin beneath your eye too much which is very very good so now we have concealed and we are done this is the finished result I hope this was helpful to you and if you liked my tutorial then please subscribe to my channel and keep on watching for more